Pilot's first big day in their flying career begins with flying their very first solo. There's no comfort of your instructor sitting next to you, and for all of you pilots out there, I know you remember that moment. It's just you, the airplane, and you're all alone up there. Chuck Chief Steer, Charlie, your number two flying Cessna short final, runway three clear, touch and go. Runway three clear, touch and go, two steer, Charlie. But my 18 year old son, Max, wasn't entirely alone up there. <laughs> I couldn't help myself flying off his wing in my TV helicopter shooting this historical moment. For safety, we briefed the flight before Max took off. What's up, brothers? But I was most impressed with his composure as my television helicopter shared the sky shooting his big day. <laughs> I was a proud father because it was then and there that I knew Sierra Charlie Aviation had turned my kid into the second generation pilot of the Hafner family. All right, floated a little while, but ended up getting it done, getting her done. Man, that kid makes me proud. So you know when your car breaks down, you usually call the tow truck? But what do you do when your helicopter breaks down? You call the tow truck. But yeah, it's a typical situation that we do. We get these calls all the time where uh, there's sometimes mechanical issues. We get to come out here and, and uh, haul them off to the repair shop. Uh, but this is not a bad one. This is a nice one because uh, it's all intact. Uh, typically our work is uh, helicopters or, or fixed wing aircraft that have crashed, wrecked in some sort. Most of them are damaged uh, and uh, not repairable. And that's how I met the Jarman boys. Chris started the company, he's the dad, and he hauled News Chopper 3 back to the hangar for me after I had to do an emergency landing to a parking lot. Our hydraulics failed, which is like your power steering failing. Pilots trained for that emergency and all ended well. And you can guess who helped us turn our helicopter into a float for the Fiesta Bowl Parade. My wife even got into the act. Isn't she a doll? Get up here! And after the fun was all over, Chris lifted the helicopter off of the float and I flew away. And he's gonna blow right through that red light. Ooh, oh my gosh. And he's really, really speeding up now. While flying a TV news helicopter, the Chopper Guard crew has covered some scary stuff most of the time live on television. Oh oh and our chief photographer, oh no, Jerry oh Ferguson, no. did a great job on this one. I'm Bruce Hefner, and this is That Chopper Guy Show. I believe that's a law enforcement truck. Oh, there we go. Looks like he's gonna uh, he's gonna lock him in, or try to, ooh, ooh. And now there's some contact, and he's taking off. So he's run the red light there now. Yeah. And he is really, he's flying now. He's going really fast. Oh, this is going to be, this is not good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Head-on collision with that car. An innocent person involved in a head-on crash. And this is exactly what DPS wanted to avoid. And he's and he's running. I can't. He's running. He's talking to some bystanders there. He's talking to some bystanders there. I don't know what he's what he's saying there. I'm not, I'm not absolutely certain, but he, it looks like that guy crawled out of the, the vehicle there. I'm fairly certain that's him. 
Yeah, that's that's the guy. I I think that's the guy. I think that's the guy. He's trying to fool those guys. Yeah, they're they're not fooled. And uh, down he goes. Just T-boned, uh, kind of front end T-boned this other vehicle. Just an innocent person going about their morning and slammed full speed into this other vehicle. We still don't know whether that other person is injured or not. It looks like DPS is tending, uh, trying to attend to that person. I'm sure they've got medical personnel already on the way. Now, miraculously, the woman that was driving that SUV escaped with minor injuries. But we've got a lot more crazy videos just like that. So why don't you press that little button down there in the corner and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next Chopper Guy show. Uh -oh.